Hello guys, Astra here. We're back with another Brawlhalla guide. And today I'll be uh, showing you how to improve at the game uh, and get consistent, getting consistent at the game. Uh, right now I don't play a lot of Brawlhalla. In fact, if you see my ranks, I've just been messing around with random legends, the Enchantress, Mordex, Nyx, uh, a little bit of Mirage, Mirage here and there. Uh, but I've just been messing them around and I'm at 1680. After I reached 1776 i was like okay let's mess around uh, 1800 is free but i went back down but you know it's fine whatever first thing i'll do um is go into training going straight into video by the way <laughs> going straight into video right now i'm pra practicing enchantress so what i do is just load up a map most of the time it's bro haven and put some stun on. right put stun Oh, it's already on. And just try combos. Just go for, like, combos that you normally would do in a match. Or even combos that you wouldn't do. Right? Practice your uh, movement. A uh, good way to practice my movement is do this. Um, fast falling there. And you probably can hear my, like, fingers are going crazy right now. It's because I'm pressing so many buttons. But that's how I practice my movement. And, but yeah, in general, for my combos, I would just go into training mode. And do stuff like that. Just practice my combos like that. And after a while, it will pay off. If you do this 20 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, it will pay off. Like, seriously. It will genuinely pay off. Um, but yeah. And after you get good at your kill confirm, you know, you can move on to something else. Maybe a hard combo. Like, I practiced for hours and hours downline Nair on uh, Gauntlets. Like, a hundred hours at least on that line there. Uh, but yeah, you know, practicing movement like this. And practicing combos like, uh, you know, just... Weapons that have combos too, you don't want to practice really weapons that have barely any combos like Scythe. I mean, I get it, if you want to like get better at clips, which I'm decently good at, then do, do it with Scythe, sure. But if you want to practice combos, in general your combos at a better gameplay, don't, don't use Scythe, please, just don't. It'll save you, it'll save you the waste of time. Next, what I'll do is go into Experimental load up with the character that i want to practice with you know right now i was playing enchantress so i'll probably go into a match of experimental uh yeah let's just go right into one
And after the experimental game, uh, if I feel like I'm still off, <laughs> like the experimental game that I was just playing, that was so off. Uh, oh my god, I need choked. I'm not actually bad. I would probably go back into training for a little while or go watch some um, some guides on certain things I think I need to work on, right? From that experimental match with that weapon. And yeah, I'll just do it again and again, right? That's, of course, I'm talking right now, like in general, I'll just watch some guides to improve. But. Um, Right after experiment match, you could also do that, you know, it's no harm. Um, but the main thing you want to do after experiment match is think about what you have done by going to replays. If the match was close, sure, I mean, if the match was close, don't go to replays. If the match was not close whatsoever, uh, and like, he, you won hard, um then just don't bother but um yeah watch your replays you know we could go back in that replay right now um we could t say why i died here um here i i was moving a little bit around too much i was not noticing what he was trying to do and i threw my weapon for no reason right here, my neutral in general was just played really bad. Uh, so you want to, like, point things out like that. And then, you also want to do, like, positive things. Like, what did I do good here? I read his dodge. <laughs> I missed the kill confirm three times, but it's fine. But I baited out his dodge, right? Um, I actually more than made it really just, like, whiffed my kill confirm. But, you know. And you just want to point out things like that throughout the entire um for the entirety of what you're like watching the replay you want to point out things you did good things you did bad and what you can do next time in general but yeah after this we get out the replays and go into some rank and here ranked you know i'll play the same character that i have been doing for the past probably 40 minutes 30 minutes and play a few ranked matches in a row uh by the way if you want to see my controls this is my controls um, I don't know if you can make it. Yeah, there we go. These are my controls, my HUD. Uh, I normally play like low transparency just because I don't want them to get in the way of my gameplay. Um, but yeah, cool controls. You know. If you wanna have get any more tips. Uh, like, if you want me to VOD review or something, I am so down. I don't know what else to do, really, for guides. I just really did this little guide just to, like, introduce you to my routine, how I get better. Of course, it's not, like, an aim routine if, in an FPS game, so it's not, like... You, you don't have to follow this. Like, it's not as important. But it's just, like, what I do. And the main thing, and, and I'm telling you, the main thing you... Like, how you want to improve, trust me. This, this offline play part, and this little thing called training, right? You want to be doing this constantly. That's what I'm saying for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. The new Ninja Turtles, Christopher Zhao. I will not buy any of that. That Those are the old shit. I'm sorry, but I don't like any of the, and any of this crossover. It's genuinely shit to me. I don't know why. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.